what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Worst Effing Gamer here guys and we've got the brand new hero, the signing hero of the month, the February signing hero guys. So check it out. I've already pulled them for you when I was at work. I accidentally opened the game. I forgot that it's the second day of February and you automatically get the hero. You have no choice about it. So I've gone ahead and I've worked on some of his abilities guys. So we'll go on that. You know, we'll go into that in just a second. But before we begin the spotlight, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit of, about this character really quickly. Because first of all, hands down, this is the weirdest looking character in the game. Am I wrong or what? It's so freaky looking. Uh, it's literally dangling there by uh, some kind of a hand. The all-seeing eye. It's pretty cool, but it's pretty weird, man. It's just weird. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. And secondly... What the hell am I going to call this dude? Uh, first of all, I, I feel like I should call him Obtuse. Obtuse sounds right. But then I feel like his name should be Optus. 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 Optos. How about I just call him OP? The brand new hero, OP. I'll just call him Optus. Optus. Like Opticare for your eye. So I'll just call up Optus guys, and uh, Optus looks like a pretty decent hero, so I'm gonna begin the spotlight right now, as you can already tell, I've already got him to level 1 hundo, so all we gotta do now is keep fusing him, so I'm gonna fuse him all the way guys, all the way up to orange plus 2, and then we'll break down his abilities, I'll show you guys this guy in action, and then we'll take a final opinion of what, you know, where I think that uh, he's gonna be good at, because he also has an awakening guys, alright, so signing hero with an awakening is also pretty cool. So I'm excited about that as well. I really want to start that awakening right away. So there's a lot to do with this character right now. And I'm pretty excited to have him on the team. So welcome to the team, you beautiful eye. You beautiful eye thingy me jingy. Uh, and um, I know a lot of people were telling me uh, on stream that he seems, uh, you know, he reminds him a lot of the Lord of the Ring eye. Um, Sauron, Sauron, right? I think that's how you say it, Sauron. But... Uh, Actually, it could be something like that. Because this eyeball does seem pretty cool. I wish they would just call him Eyeball. I think that would have been awesome. All-seeing eye. Yeah. I have always been an advocate of switching up the characters' names from their name to what their name is to what their description is, guys. I've always said, oh, I wish it was like that from the beginning. So instead of calling him you know, obtuse or optus, we should call them all seeing eye, so it makes it so much easier, pretty much all the characters, their descriptive, you know what I mean, their description is a lot easier to remember than their real name, you forget their real name, but their description you remember, so anyways, I'm blabbling on about nothing uh, here right now guys, so let's go ahead, let's take a look at what this character is all about, by breaking down his abilities really quickly, now his ultimate I've already kind of started a little, you know, a little while ago, so we're at level 41 already, but the other ones are still level only level 1, so let's go ahead, let's break them down real quick. I need to find out what they're going to do first, and then we'll take them to a battle and try them out in a, you know, a, le a real life battle here. So first of all, Energy Orb. Target the enemy who is most difficult to target with the uh, ordinary attacks. Now that I don't understand what that means. How do you determine who is the most difficult to target? Maybe, I'm guessing, by dodge, right? Uh, enemy with the highest dodge. Maybe. Alright, up to summons five magic bullets, which strike the target in succession. If a bullet initially misses, it will hover in place, gathering energy before smashing into the target, stunning them. Haha. <laughs> so that's pretty dope right there, guys. With that pretty much means that you don't want this to miss if you are the opponent. Because if this misses, it's going to just hover, it's still gonna hover around the hero, and then it's going to blam blast right in their head and probably deal more damage and then stun them. So that's pretty cool right there. Laser scan. Scan an enemy with a laser emitting from the eye. Yes, the enemy with um, the enemy will be instantly stunned. And while they are being scanned, the shield protecting them will be eliminated. Oh what? They will also take physical damage that ignores armor. Okay, that is nice right there, guys. Laser scan sounds awesome. You got a stun there. Also, a shield protecting them will be eliminated. So this is pretty cool because. Uh, if you remember our last hero, Eldred, he protects everybody with his shield. If they are being protected with a shield, this is going to cancel that. So right there, seems pretty cool to maybe counter Eldred right off the bat. Not really sure if it's effective in the battle, but sounds pretty cool. Alright, Gaze of Destruction, his third ability here. Shoots a beam of light 
at uh, an enemy with high DPS. All right, that's... It doesn't say the highest, it just says high. Well, what if there's more than one? I don't... Uh, how is it going to judge? Knocking them back and slowing them. Okay, so another stun ability here, so... Wow, it's going to slow them, knock them back, and it deals 550 damage at level 1. Seems pretty good here. Seems nice. And then the last one here, Magic Beacon. Turns into a beacon that gives nearby allies increased physical hit bonus and physical pierce rating. Whoa, this is sick. For, this is making your physical heroes even better. Enemies that uh, get too close will be blinded and will be unable to become invisible. Whoa, what? Oh, uh, say goodbye, Mr. Volko. Is this a specific counter to Volko, guys? I am thinking absolutely. Volko goes invisible. Is this going to stop Volko? Hmm. Enemies that get too close will be blinded and will get will be unable to become invisible. This is pretty crazy, guys. That's pretty sick right there. I love that. I love that. And then uh, you also get a boost from this. So this is dope as hell. All right, guys. So let's go ahead into his awakening because his awakening... Uh, like I said, he's got an awakening here. So, under the gaze of Raven Spirit, an enemy with the hot, with high DPS will be enchanted. What? Uh, this one does not make much sense to me, guys. What does that mean? Under the gaze of the Raven Spirit, an enemy with high DPS will be enchanted. What does that mean? I don't understand what enchanted means. How is it going to affect them? Because you don't see anything about enchantment in any of his other abilities here. Hmm. Alright, well, it looks like I gotta do some more research about that one, guys. Because I'm not sure what enchanted really means. What does it mean if that hero is enchanted? But anyways, let's go ahead and work on these abilities just a little bit here. And then it's time for us to take this bad boy or this bad eye into a battle and see these, you know, act, you know these uh, abilities in action, guys. So let's go ahead. Alright, so really quickly guys, check it out. Tell me this doesn't look like Vernos with his skin on, except missing all his leaves. <laughs> this, to me, it seems literally like Vernos without all of his leaves. If Vernos was on some crazy drugs and all his leaves fell off. Some kind of a crackhead and his leaves fell off and the only thing remained was his big old eye. <laughs> or maybe I should do this guys, let's go ahead. I will test this out. With Vernos in there. So let's begin the battle with the two forest, the two eyeball bros, I like to call them. So right away, uh, up two starts up with his second ability, guys. Laser scan, which he scans at an enemy with his eye, as you can see there. And the enemy will be stunned. And if there's a shield on the enemy uh, that's protecting them, it will be eliminated, all right? So that's what I, I was talking about with Al Aldred before. If he's being protected by some kind of a shield, this will eliminate it, also stunning them. They will also take damage that ignores armor, all right? So it's going to do damage. Stun and eliminate an armor. So second ability right off the bat is actually pretty cool. Got a bunch of usabilities. After that, he goes right into his third ability, Glaze of Destruction. And that reminds me of a glazed donut. But anyways, uh, targets. The target an enemy with the high with high DPS. It doesn't say the highest, it just says high DPS. Knocking them back and then slowing them. So that's pretty cool. It's gonna deal a good amount of damage. I mean, this one deals 14,000, which is a lot. Um you know, if you ask me, but it's going to knock them back and it's going to slow them down. That's pretty cool. Now, don't forget, these abilities are actually really low level, guys, because I haven't maxed them out yet. But at this point, they seem pretty cool. Now, this is his fourth ability, Magic Beacon. And this does a couple of different things. So, nearby allies are going to gain physical hit bonus and physical pierce rating, all right, if they're around them. But enemies that get too close will be blinded as well as unable to uh, go invisible. So that's what I was talking about. Volko, you know, I love to go invisible there. This is kind of a great counter to Volko because at this, this is kind of the time when Volko, by the battle starts, Volko will be there and uh, he's going to be on your side of the field. So seems like a great counter to Volko uh, and uh, it's going to prevent him from going invisible, which is pretty good. And then at this point, once he goes to second, third and fourth ability, they're just going to repeat. All right, that's kind of every hero. That's how they go. So second, third, fourth, repeat until he gets his ultimate off. Energy Orb is his ultimate, summons 5 magic bullets, which will hit the target in succession, right? So they're just going to keep hitting targets. If the magic bullets miss, it will hover in place and then hit the, the target again, but this time it's also going to stun them, right? So that's why uh, you kind of want them to hit the first time, even if you're the opponent. Like, uh, you might as well just hit me the first time, because the second time it's going to hit again and it's going to stun. This ability is terrific. I mean, it's pretty sick. 
when you think of some heroes that are really really hard to hit uh right off the bat guys i'm thinking about jasper is one of them that dude is hard to hit uh Ezio who jumps around all over the place so if you were having a hard time with heroes like that where you're just missing all your attacks you cannot hit them this one is sick because it's going to keep trying and trying and trying until i actually connect with a hero hitting them and then possibly stunning them which is pretty good and it seems to be doing a lot of damage as well from what i can tell but let's take a look at it right now there's the five balls boom nine thousand eighteen thousand that's a crit eighteen thousand that's a crit eighteen thousand again that's a lot guys so um you know at this point, it's low level, like I said. The stage is not that high either, but it's very impressive, all right? So, retry this battle again. As you can see, he's scanning the opponent right there. Then he goes into his uh, he goes into his laser beam, which does a lot of damage. Then he goes into his glaze. You know what I mean? His glaze of destruction. And then, boom, you can activate the ultimate here, and it's just going to be pow, kapow, 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 and one more, pow. Five attacks in a row, so that's a lot of damage right there, guys. That's pretty much all you really need to see about this guy. Or all four, four abilities are right there for you to see. Really cool. I love them all. They're all usable in some kind of way. So he's, I feel like he's got a lot of different potentials and a lot of different lineups, if you ask me. So, yeah, that's the battle for you. Wow, guys. So that was pretty impressive. I love using this guy in the battle. I think it's awesome. The animations are sick. I love the eyeball just being able to go ahead and swoop around. That is sick, man. I really, really love it. this guy. I love his abilities. I think I'm interested in uh, maxing this guy out all the way, guys. It's only two stars now, obviously. But he's a signing hero, so you'll be able to get him at least three stars or four stars by the end of the month. And then uh, when they release him, this guy looks interesting. I can't wait to awaken him and can't wait to actually try him out in some battles because it seems to be a counter to a couple of different situations that you can use. And um, I still lo I love his abilities, guys. Bunch of crowd control, some good uh, damage possibly. So a lot of possibilities with my boy Obtuse, the all-seeing eye here. So that's pretty much it for the spotlight, guys. I hope you enjoy that. Leave a like if you did, and I'll catch you guys on the next Soul Hunters Hero Spotlight. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.